Hey, it's Time Bomb. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for daily updates. Today I wanted to talk about the different sets that we're now seeing in NHL 18. They really did switch things up here a little bit, and uh, I mean it is pretty much the same, but with slightly different changes. So let's take a look at the hero sets here. Um, when we take a look at them, we, we can see that they already, right off the bat, have the... Uh, I don't know, the master sets in there. I'm sure there will add more, but we can see a 99 Jerome Aginla, and they had the uh, 99 Yammer Yager as well, so a couple different ones. Here, just to look into a random Buffalo set and take a look at what the requirements are for the different um, specific team heroes, and yeah, it's pretty, pretty standard stuff. You know, all the players, just only a couple of the jerseys, the logo, the arena, six gold, uh, was that three bronze and one silver so that's not too bad that's you know very doable hopefully well i guess it depends on what the pr the, uh, the price is but it seems but better than last year i'm not going to go through all of them just kind of looking at the heroes here we got ronick this year that's a that's a new addition so nash that's a new one uh we didn't have him turco vernon smith melanby blake those are all yeah brunette muller that's a new one sullivan we have a returning uh Danico. LaFontaine, Graves, Redden, Hextel, Murphy, Kachuk. Is Kachuk new? I think Kachuk's new. Owen oh, Nolan, that's new boy. Wendell Clark. Nice. And then we got Linden and Colzig. All right. Yeah, I guess nothing for Las Vegas because, you know, they're brand new, but that's a shame. Maybe they could have done something for them. <laughs> I don't know. Just giving it uh, to, like, the. Uh, I don't know, the casino or something, the Pacific Grand or whatever, some mob boss, whatever. Anyway, so here we go into the draft champions rewards. We see these. You can get, uh, you know, from it's the same setup. You get a, a one token per, so that's ten for a uh, gold pack. So you can kind of base that's decent. And we see these eighty-five overalls are the initial players for the draft champions rewards, which are, you know, not too crazy as well. It's just about thirty of them, so that's I mean pretty doable. You can build a decent team just playing through draft champions. All right, here we go into the hut tips, which is just some little, I don't know how to call them. I guess it's basically like a collectible. I, I'm familiar with them from Madden. Um, they'll just give you, they kind of just try to explain how the game is. This one, you need 10 of them. And I think this one right here, I didn't do it here while I was uh, making the video, but you can, because I thought I needed more of them, but I actually do think you get all of them in your starter pack. So you can do those yourself. It's like these player upgrade sets here. So you, this is kind of a new addition. You can do bronze to gold. It takes three five, uh, gold rare players. So that's not a bad set. You can try that out. And then this year you can't create the collectibles with the other consumables like you could last year. But you can make the bronze and then upgrade them to silver if you go through that way. Uh, you can get the bronze to make the silver and so forth. Like you still have to get the collectibles from the first place, off the marketplace, or through packs. So they are kind of controlling the release of collectibles more this year. And then, yeah, of course, the same way you can get them through carbon. So I think we're going to see a lot less of those collectibles on the market, and they're going to be a lot more expensive. So, I mean, it's just one way you can see e EA is making that m whole market dependable on buying packs, which is something they started to do more at uh, the end of last year too so it's gonna make that kind of a tricky area of the game so I don't know how I'm gonna be that was an area that I really like to make coins off last year so not being able to do that is kind of a bummer and then here we see this there's this jersey trade-in set that I did just because I had so many of these untradeable ones and it wasn't a great reward really just in the end you see I just get this uh, this jersey for Nashville just a gold jersey and I don't know. I feel like they should have some sort of synergy or something that'd be nicer on jerseys. But all right, that's an overview of all the sets that we got off the bat, and I'm sure they'll be adding more and some specialty weekly and monthly ones. So we'll take a look out for that. Thanks a lot for checking out the video. Hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you later. Boom, boom.